There are times when you really don't want to believe what you can see and hear. There have been, over the years, reports of aliens and landing here on this earth of ours. Where we are in Suffolk, one of the most significant was in 1980, when on three different evenings, close to a military airbase, a spaceship was spotted. The rumours go far deeper than that. There was evidence at that time that the spaceship had actually landed and that American forces personnel close by approached and spoke to alien forms. This was all clouded in secrecy and we will never really know what has happened. Just recently we've come across a very secretive report with photographs that show that maybe the Rendlesham incident, as it became known in Suffolk, had some substance. Our reporter, Jan Candy, spoke to an informant who was clearly very worried and was needing constant assurance that everything would be okay. He did initially describe what he'd seen. He produced some photographs. He'd even gone so far as to record his actions as he went into a building to obtain information and to get these photographs. What do you think? This is Jan Candy and I'm very pleased to say that I've caught up with an extraordinary man with a tale to tell that will have us all hiding for cover. Andrew Dickinson, hello. Um, hi. Hi, so we're speaking very quietly because we're in a public place and we're in a public place because it's safer. Andrew, why are you on the run from the authorities? Um, well, we've discovered something which we feel um, has really got to be told to the rest of the world, but they don't, they don't want us to. I mean, you're visibly shaken here. I can see you. You've come in dark clothing. You... Okay. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? No, no, that's OK. That's OK. She... Was, uh, yeah. Um, that's OK. It wasn't anybody to worry about. OK. So, sorry, carry on with the story. Carry on with the story. Um, uh, well, we, we know things have been going on around here for a long time. So I thought, I started digging, um, digging in the woods near to the site, um, and for quite a long time, but then... Stop. That's okay, that's okay. Mm. Um, and then started to find things. Um, what sort of things, Andrew? Well, uh, uh, things that we didn't recognise, um... But, but bones, we found bones. Um, and we, we didn't know what they were. We, we didn't recognise them. They're not, they're not animal what bones. What do you mean they're not human? What are you really trying to say, Andrew? I, I don't want to say um, that, they're not, that, they're, uh, well, that they're alien, but that, that we don't recognise. I, 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 you mean I know they're, what not, human... they're not... For, what makes you such an expert? How do you know well, that, it's, it's, that these aren't human bones, that they're aliens, they're from another planet? We've spoken to people who know these things, know better than I do. What, what, I mean, I know roughly what the human bones look like, but these people really know. And they, they, they don't recognise any of them. They don't... They, they, they agree that they're, they're... Actually, if you don't mind, I think we're, we're attracting attention. And oh, we have right. got a tape that you made for us. Do you mind if we just go straight to that? Sure, yeah, yeah. In the recording you're about to hear, you'll hear our informant walking across the gravel. And he stops at the sight of some bones. He approaches a building and breaks in.
this is it. This number better work. Yes. Security. Okay. And inside finds more bones. He opens a door. And if you listen very carefully at that point, you'll hear a squeaking sound. Our informant has time, as he opens the door, to take a photograph. And a second photograph. This time using flash. At that point, his nerve broke and he turned and ran. 